As we approach the latter half of 2025, the mirrorless camera industry finds itself at a critical juncture. Canon, one of the titans of the photography world, is once again poised to make headlines with its upcoming release, the Canon EOS R7 Mark II. This successor to the popular EOS R7 is already generating a whirlwind of speculation, but there's one major rumor that's stealing the spotlight, the complete elimination of the mechanical shutter. Evolution of the R7, a legacy reimagined. To understand the significance of the Mark II, it's worth revisiting what made the original EOS R7 so appealing. Released in mid-2022, the R7 brought flagship-level features into a compact, affordable APS-C body. It blended high-speed shooting with cutting-edge autofocus and excellent image quality, attracting hybrid creators, wildlife photographers, and hobbyists alike. The R7 Mark II, however, looks ready to build on this foundation with a bolder, more ambitious approach. At the center of this redesign is a rumored 32MP stacked CMOS sensor, offering lightning-fast readout speeds. The end of the mechanical shutter? While traditional mechanical shutters have served photographers faithfully for decades, advancements in sensor and processor technology are making them less essential. Mechanical shutters rely on physical curtains to control exposure duration, but they also introduce noise, vibration, and wear over time. In contrast, electronic shutters eliminate moving parts, offering quieter operation, greater durability, and faster shooting speeds. Canon's rumored decision to remove the mechanical shutter in the EOS R7 Mark II aligns it with the industry's forward thinkers. Sony's A9 III, Nikon Z8 and Z9, and other top-tier models have already embraced shutterless systems. Now Canon may be ready to join the ranks, particularly as it becomes clear that electronic shutters can meet or even exceed the performance of their mechanical predecessors. Why go fully electronic? There are several compelling reasons Canon might opt to ditch the mechanical shutter. Blazing fast continuous shooting, with no physical mechanism to slow things down, the camera could achieve up to 40 frames per second in burst mode, previously unimaginable in an APS-C body. Silent operation, ideal for shooting wildlife, concerts, weddings and ceremonies where discretion is paramount. Zero vibration, with no moving parts, image blur caused by internal vibration is minimized, improving sharpness, especially at slower shutter speeds or longer focal lengths. Greater durability, no mechanical wear and tear means fewer parts to fail, especially useful for professionals and outdoor shooters. This approach isn't without precedent, but applying it to an APS-C body is a daring step. If Canon gets this right, it could usher in a new era of silent high-speed photography for the masses. But what are the drawbacks? While going fully electronic has its benefits, there are still hurdles to overcome. Rolling shutter artifacts, Fast-moving objects may appear warped if the sensor readout isn't fast enough. A stacked sensor should reduce this issue, but it won't eliminate it entirely. Banding under certain lights, some artificial lighting, especially flickering LEDs, can cause unsightly banding during electronic shutter use. Reduced dynamic range. In some models, electronic shutter mode limits raw depth from 14-bit to 12-bit, slightly reducing color and tonal fidelity. Canon's ability to address these limitations will be critical. The rumored processing power of the R7 Mark II suggests they're well aware of the stakes and ready to deliver a solution that satisfies even demanding users. Performance hardware under the hood. At the core of the EOS R7 Mark II is likely a newly developed 32MP stacked CMOS sensor. Stacked sensors are designed for speed, delivering faster data readouts which are essential for electronic shutters and advanced autofocus systems. Combined with Canon's next-gen image processor, we can expect tremendous improvements in buffer handling, image rendering, and AF tracking accuracy. Canon is expected to bring over some of the deep learning autofocus features found in its full-frame models. This could include advanced eye, face, animal and vehicle detection, possibly even expanding to birds in flight and fast-moving objects, all powered directly by dedicated hardware accelerators. Redesigned exterior Inspired by the EOS R5 Mark II. Beyond internal improvements, the EOS R7 Mark II is rumored to sport a body redesign modeled after the upcoming R5 Mark II. This includes a more premium magnesium alloy build, enhanced weather sealing, dual SD card slots for redundancy, and improved ergonomics. A fully articulating LCD screen is also expected, which is great news for vloggers and hybrid creators. Additionally, the electronic viewfinder, EVF, may be upgraded to a 3.69 AMOLED panel with improved refresh rates, 
providing a blackout-free experience that rivals flagship mirrorless cameras. Target audience. Who should be excited? Canon's positioning of the R7 Mark II is very deliberate. It's targeting hybrid creators, wildlife photographers, sports shooters, and serious enthusiasts who need speed and portability in one compact package. Whether you're tracking birds, capturing motorsports, shooting quiet ceremonies, or producing cinematic content for YouTube, this camera appears to be built for you. By combining high-end performance with APS-C efficiency, Canon is catering to a segment that wants pro-grade results without the bulk and price of full-frame systems. Competitive Landscape – Canon's Bold Statement Canon isn't just upgrading a camera, it's making a clear statement. By potentially releasing its first shutterless APS-C mirrorless body, Canon is positioning itself alongside Nikon and Sony, who have already transitioned to shutterless systems at the high end. The R7 Mark II also takes aim at Fujifilm's X-H2S, another APS-C powerhouse with a stacked sensor and blazing speed. It's evident that Canon wants to compete head-on, offering hybrid shooters a feature-rich alternative without requiring a switch in systems. Video Specs – Not just for stills Though the shutter discussion dominates the spotlight, the R7 Mark II is expected to shine as a video machine too. Canon has been doubling down on its video capabilities lately, and this model is likely no exception. Expect features like 4K at 60 frames per second and potentially 4K at 120 frames per second. Internal 10-bit 4,2,2 recording. Canon Log 3 for cinematic grading. Focus breathing correction for professional lens work. Improved thermal handling for long recording sessions. These features could transform the R7 Mark II into a go-to choice for filmmakers and content creators wanting a flexible powerful tool without needing a dedicated cinema camera. Conclusion Canon's shutterless leap into the future. The Canon EOS R7 Mark II is shaping up to be more than just an iterative update. It could very well redefine what APS-C cameras are capable of and how we perceive shutter systems going forward. If Canon follows through on the rumored removal of the mechanical shutter, it could pave the way for an entirely new class of mirrorless cameras, ones that offer professional-level performance in a smaller, more accessible form factor. Whether you're a wildlife shooter, filmmaker, sports photographer, or hybrid creator, the EOS R7 Mark II is a release worth watching. In a landscape where innovation is moving rapidly, Canon seems ready to make its next bold move. And it just might be the start of a shutterless revolution.